Hey everybody, it is our Friday weekly check-in. Well, we taped these Thursday night. Thursday night, but, but it'll be Friday <laughs> when we post it. Yes, but so our happy weekly Friday everybody, right? Mm -hmm. Happy Friday. We, uh, we're back at the Springs and we had, yeah. uh, we found some awesome masks at the Springs this week. Yeah. So um, I've yeah. got my baby Yoda <laughs> and Kristen, you have your- have Mini. Mini, awesome. I have Mini. So yeah, I feel great. very, very Disney now with my Disney mask. They've given us some good options. And when we <laughs> walked in, they actually had a couple more that you like, they had I, Stitch and Pooh and some other things. So I think yeah. so. Yeah, they have. It's kind of nice if you are coming here on vacation anytime soon. Over by the co-op, mm -hmm. you get in line mm -hmm. and they have a nice um, like sign out there that shows you all the masks that are available. And it's very efficient. As long as there's not a long line, it's really quick to go through. You tell yeah. them what you want. Mm -hmm. Then they shuffle you into the co-op to pay. And it's great. And you get your Disney mask. And there's no waiting. Because you know what? Um, a lot of those are online. And, and here you can just waiting. pick it up. You just got it. You just come and get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just come pick it up. You might see some really like cool looking clouds behind us. Uh, we are in Florida and there is that weird uh, like Saharan dust storm thing which they said is supposed to make for some really beautiful sunsets but I digress because we've gotten away from running which is the topic of yeah. our Run Disney Daily Weekly update Yeah. and we have a bunch of interesting things to talk about this week because things are happening so rapidly in the world of <laughs> Disney and the world of running Disney and Walt Disney World and Disneyland right Christian? Can we talk about Monday? Let's talk about oh. Monday. <laughs> I just want to say mm -hmm. that the Disney World now knows what it's like to register for Run Disney events. <laughs> you have to have your three uh, web browsers and your mobile phone and everything yeah. all ready to go and it's going to sell out in three seconds and the system's going to crash, right? Oh, so on Monday they put out, um, it was available for anyone who had a hotel reservation. Yep. You could make your park entry reservations because as you may or may not know you not it's not just enough to have a ticket you have to have a ticket plus a reservation exactly. to get in and uh and go get into the parks and there's no park hopping exactly so this monday is when anybody who had a hotel reservation not us not us <laughs> clearly uh and so I, I do feel for those people because there's a lot of money spent in hotel reservations oh, and gosh. our Run Disney friends. Lots who are of people here, who are coming for Run Disney races who don't have places who to they stay. stay. Or they stay. No, they're staying. And or they, they are to, staying. Yeah. Could you imagine freaking out that you. You're running your first marathon you or you're your marathon, running your first dopey. You booked it and oh, you've got a hotel. Can't go to the Oops. park afterwards. Ugh. Yeah, but I nice. hear uh, it was is pretty much a mess. The apps have been crashing like crazy, and oh my gosh, that's that's so run Disney. Which now, I'm not, which I'm not saying anything negative about Disney IT because when you have no. that many people trying to you know infiltrate any kind of you know internet system all at one time, obviously there's going to be issues. So I <laughs> I totally get that. Yeah. Um, but no. wow, were oh. people angry and upset. And I mean, it was just like registering for a run Disney well, race, right? Oh my gosh. Well, when you're talking, the races are a couple hundred dollars, but when you're talking a couple thousands thousands of dollars of park tickets, I yeah. completely get it. Yeah. So, uh, as the week has gone by, there's different dates that you can, uh, get into the app and start slowly getting uh reservations uh today or i'm sorry mm -hmm. yesterday yep mm -hmm. was you could make reservations for hotels in 2021 so not this year so if you're doing the if you're doing the, the marathon next year uh marathon weekend you can start making your hotel reservations for that weekend now yeah 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 so and so like if said, you are like, planning to be here marathon weekend for run disney get on those reservations now you can actually make them i remember last week when we were talking about when are you going to be able to make reservations well you can now yeah, yeah. so do yeah. it do it now and tomorrow uh well i should say friday the 26th which is when we're going to release this is the first day that annual pass holders 
like ourselves and like many other Disney runners <laughs> are able to make park reservations. So yeah. uh, tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., you better believe both of us are going to be up on that site trying to get some reservations <laughs> for some of the parks. And I know a lot what, of you what guys... What park are you going to pick? Well, okay, so Magic Kingdom opens up first on the 11th. So obviously <laughs> I'm going to go for that. Here's, here's, okay. a little, here's a little background info. I have the gold annual pass and she doesn't. And we would have upgraded her, but you can't upgrade right now. So she's blacked out when the parks open and I'm not. Yeah. So you tell me, should I go to the parks without you or should I wait? I should probably I wait. I think the viewer should say. Yeah, comment below, <laughs> comment below. Seriously, we, we were starting to get yeah. some, some viewership. So if you think I should go to the parks without her, comment below or if you think that I should wait comment below I think I should probably do the nice thing and wait uh, but for all you guys uh, for, for all record, you guys Disney's I want to give you some... the 11th and the 15th my pass is up the first week of August so a couple of weeks <laughs> so really what it would do is it would allow me to go in and get some really nice yeah. POV videos made for all of you out there in yeah. YouTube land uh, to run on your treadmill, which I know a lot of people who subscribe to our channel love those POV uh, uh, running videos. Um, well, I love I them. I run them every week. What's important to me is with everything going on and numbers have kind of been spiking, not just in the state of Florida, but in other places. Mm -hmm. I know we like to run our own treadmill videos because yeah. we like being there. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot of people that can't book a vacation to come down because it's just not right for them medically to risk yeah or they that. don't or they just um, don't feel comfortable and you know what that's okay if you and having mm -hmm. those is nice um it is. i won't lie sometimes we look at other youtube videos of places that we love and we run on the treadmill to those videos like too. hawaii maybe yeah we're going to hawaii to run the 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 honolulu marathon in december if it happens hopefully we'll see Okay, this is going to be a forever vlog if we don't get on track here. So, yeah. what's our next subject? Uh, because I you know, know, I oh, know you want to talk about Disneyland. Well, we wanted to talk about Disneyland California. just for, so Disneyland in California said they were going to open, and then they they went back on that statement and they said no, Disneyland is not going to open. They are they are closing indefinitely. Still, they didn't even yeah. give an opening date for possibly opening. I don't know, is Disney World even gonna open, Kristen? Are they, I, so COVID numbers here in Central Florida are spiking like crazy more than they have before, um, you know, we started our phase one reopening. So yeah. I, it is very likely, and I know you didn't wanna even really talk about this much because it doesn't relate to running, but so here's the deal. So if, if Disneyland closed and we're seeing higher numbers and now Disney World decides to close, I got to be honest with you, running, running, run Disney events are done for the year. Well, are do you know, done. Yeah. I uh, well, Disneyland deciding to push back their opening date. California is different than Florida. Um, I know that my first priority is making sure that the cast members uh, of we course. have many friends, we have family, family, yeah, who are cast members and we want their safety as much as we want uh, the guests who are here. So I feel like everybody it, needs I'm to be safe because I, I want everybody to be safe and that's what's important. If it's the right thing to do, it's the right thing to do and it, it stinks. Um, but uh, as far as run Disney is concerned, I think uh, what we'll get into this in our next topic is what will depend on what run Disney is willing to, what lengths they are willing to go to uh, to make that happen. So before we get into that, we should just say that this week uh, some of the hotels opened up. Open. They did. And yep. there are guests here. Mm -hmm. There, I have to say we're at Disney Springs tonight and we've been here each week uh, for the last couple weeks since they opened. There's a and big influx of people here tonight, more than we've seen in the last couple of weeks, right? There's a good number of people here. Yeah, it's it's and fairly busy. You know, I like that everybody is adhering to uh, the guidelines. Oh, you know what I we love? We feel very safe. I love mm -hmm. is that we're we're very separate from everyone right now. Yeah. 
and there is still we're enough off in room. a corner don't we're worry off in a corner and there's <laughs> nobody near us and it, it feels very safe safe enough to not wear face coverings and masks yeah um and i know there are a lot of people who are still scared scared to go out and i understand that i get yeah. it um i mean we are being extremely careful and cautious and oh yeah I mean, um I feel safe. We are making videos, but you know, the mm -hmm. hand sanitizer, the mask, like we're kind of just in and out. It's it's never far out of reach. No. Yeah, it really isn't. No. Yeah. Uh, so the resorts are open and I know Saratoga Springs is open and yeah. Disney's uh, Polynesian, uh, you know, the Polynesian. Uh, yeah. So uh, one thing that we don't know quite yet is, I don't know exactly which resorts are open and which are not. Yeah. Because a big thing here is um, the NBA is coming here any day. To start their season, yes, and they've overtaken. Don't let me don't don't get me started on the NBA, please. No, but what the point being <laughs> yeah. is that if you are coming for a vacation or you're coming to run, not just in the next week or two. I'm talking like through October. Yeah, through October, it's gonna um, be different. I don't know right now exactly what areas outside outdoors are are uh, available for you to run outside. Yeah, I don't. Um, I don't think anywhere. And we had read that some of the fitness centers are limited. So, from a running perspective, I think uh, we used to run here a lot. Of course, I think you all know that. Like five days a week. Yeah. Yeah, and mm -hmm. now we don't uh, have that ability. Yeah. So, we will. We're gonna do it the right way, but we'll get the information as time goes by. This is only the first couple days as to where you can go and where you can't. So I do want to make it perfectly clear that I, we live local and we do run at Disney. We did run at Disney a lot. We always did it in a way that was, uh, you know, corresponding to Disney's rules. So we always parked yeah. in places we were supposed to park. We would always buy food. We would always get breakfast or a meal or have a meal planned or a reservation. Yeah. We're not breaking any rules. We're not sneaking in any no. fences. We're not, you know, doing no, any of no, that. No. Um, <laughs> just, just in case you're curious, but we do run it like, like we said, we this is called Run Disney Daily, and we did run at Disney almost daily until this COVID shutdown happened. Yeah. Um, so with that said, yes, the resorts are open. We're going to have to uh, take another week to kind of understand what's open and what's mm -hmm. not. Yeah. So that you know for your upcoming trips or planning purposes, kind of where you can run, where, where you, you are, because we know that you're so much of so many of you are training. Now, with that said, let's transition to our next topic is a big thing this week and it's not good news guys no it's really not uh so what was announced was the new york marathon which is not the same as a half marathon at disney but what's important is the new york marathon is the same week as disney's wine and dine and they canceled it it is canceled yeah and so why that's important is because uh, they house similar numbers. New York is much larger, but from a weekend perspective, Disney's and not the effort, much smaller, but you the know. effort that goes behind it into those numbers is is similar. And talking about social distancing and, and different, you know, health standards, uh, uh, the difference between the New York Marathon and uh, you know Wine and Dine Weekend here for Run Disney. Uh, is 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 the same so the effort level yeah so it doesn't bode well for the for the progress of our races being uh, not canceled um, the fact that you know and from what we've seen Disney has been uh, taken caution I think Disney's uh, gonna be more cautious even than the New York Marathon would be so yeah. I, I don't feel good about wine and dine right now I feel pretty crappy about it uh, Kristen and I are starting to plan some kind of contingency things. We'll and get to that as it comes along. We will. But you can you can have fun at home, guys. Yeah. That's what we really want to say is every time a race has been canceled, we've done some really fun things at yeah. home, some virtual stuff. Yeah. Um, but Let's not give away all our secrets. Not yet, but <laughs> there are some fun things that you can do. And yeah. if Wine and Dine, if it does come to that point, then we can talk about it. Yeah. Um, but in keeping with this, I also heard that the... Um, in October, the uh, Marine Corps Marathon, they have done something totally different. Uh, they decided... They're kind of the one and only. They're about Marines the one and only. Marines are badasses, so here's what they've done. They have put a minimum pace requirement for their marathon. And given a virtual option. So you can, mm -hmm. you can show up. So what that pace minimum means is that they've told people that if you do not maintain a 12-minute mile pace, 
For a marathon. For the marathon, <laughs> 26.2 miles, that you're out. That you can't well, do Well, you it. get swept. But mm -hmm. yeah, but they're still they're still doing the marathon. Um, they just, if you can't keep yeah. up with the 12 minute uh, mile, you know, pace requirement, because they're going to spread everybody out. I can't keep up with a 12 minute mile pace requirement for a marathon. I would be out. Close. Close. Adam's but I would be a, out. Adam and I, our favorite, <laughs> our favorite length is distance is, is not a marathon. Uh, we'll no. do it. Yeah. We'll do it. And we've done them, yeah. but it's not our favorite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would pull them through it. At yeah, 12 minutes. Yeah, well, maybe. We'll see. So, <laughs> no, I don't want to run it. I don't want to. That's so, um, well, so So my point being is, will that happen here? Will Disney decide that for Run Disney, they want to start doing minimum pace requirements? My answer to that is, I don't think so. Disney races are not about getting your best time. So no. I don't think there is any way that Disney would impose a mini minimum pace requirement. I think that's crazy. No. Uh, but that's a totally different race. Mm -hmm. It's not something that I foresee Disney doing, but it was interesting news. Yeah, no, this it, week yeah, it totally pertaining was. Pertaining to running uh, <clears throat> that, well, I don't know. And I'm, I you mean, know, speculation. It is. It's interesting. It's interesting to see what other uh, races and other, you know, organizers are doing for their marathons and their half marathons. They're all taking unique, you know, different perspectives. So, with that, I would say Disney is a very unique company expect to see something unique with them uh perhaps the race starting at midnight <laughs> perhaps the race starting at two o'clock in the morning perhaps they're instead of being you know 12 or 24 corrals they're being 36 48 corrals yeah. lots of corrals small small corrals going all night maybe shortening race distances yeah. i can see disney being very creative yeah so you know what I think I don't, you know, there's a lot of speculation we could do. And, you mm -hmm. know, we've got many more weeks to think about it. Lots <laughs> before of time before that think happens. About it. But that was an interesting. But you know what is tidbit. going on right now? What? The virtual races. Disney's virtual yes. 5Ks are going on right now. So uh, it was something that caught my attention. Mm -hmm. We did not sign up for the virtual races, although I Maybe think that's we should have. Now I feel like we should have, and now I feel yeah. bad about it. Um, they're you know. sold out now, but. Um, well, uh, registration for those came up very quick. It did. It was, I believe, in the last week of March. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but it was around there. And they gave only a couple days notice and just said, whoa, we're going to put up these virtual races. And the virtual races are every summer. It's a virtual series is what they call it. And this is uh, their fifth year running, so a little oh, anniversary God. there. But here's what I don't understand, Kristen. So they sold out, right? Within an hour, minutes. It's a yeah. virtual race, people. <laughs> Disney is printing money here. All they have to do is send you a bib and a medal. I don't understand why they would ever well, it's sell digital. out. So it's a digital bib, digital mm -hmm. medal. I just don't understand why they'd sell out then because it's it seems like they could just sell, you know, a, however many they wanted. Yeah. But. So I, um, so they have, it's a series of three mm -hmm. and with um, Disney, there's, you don't submit a time. You don't uh, submit a time and say like, I did it in this time. It doesn't matter. It's just kind of for personal achievement. Well, it's for fun and for the medal and, and yeah, for yourself. So you can register for one or two or three. So there's, um, and then if you register for all three, then you get a special challenge medal. And the theme was really cute. So it went through um, the spring. And it ends uh, technically the series timeline to do the, the races or the the, t the length of the 5Ks was the end of August. And so you get three medals if you sign up for them. So you can sign up for them individually. It was attractions at Magic Kingdom. That was cool. The medals were really cool. So Haunted Mansion. Mm-hmm. Uh, tea Party. Yep. And then... Um, Space Mountain. Super cool medals. I, and then I feel the jealous. Yeah. I feel like we should have signed up. No. You know the what I really... The challenge? Yeah. That's what I wanted. Yeah, the challenge medal yeah. is cool. Yeah. Uh, you know why I really love virtual races? And I know a lot of people will say it's just a way for them to make money. I really like virtual races because it's really good motivation. 
Yeah. You know, I think that there's a lot of people out there that love to run but need that extra kick of motivation to do it. Um, it's hard. We run every single day. I run every single day. Sometimes we do some cross training. Mm -hmm. We did a really cool bike ride around Disney this morning. But I feel like a lot of times people need that extra kick of motivation to get themselves out. And if that virtual race and that medal <laughs> gets you to go out and run a 5K, that's awesome. I yeah. love it. If that motivation is what it mm -hmm. takes and what you need, amazing. Uh, and that's why I really like virtual races and I, I think that it's not a waste of time or money to spend the money on it. No, and so I love that they do it every year. Mm -hmm. And so you might have missed out. I'm not condoning this. I'm not speaking about it. But I'm sure you can find them on eBay. <laughs> sure, and you know what? <laughs> I bet you Disney's going to yeah. be doing a lot more of these. Yeah, uh, Star yeah. Wars has a virtual option just mm -hmm. kind of uh, the last year or two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That kind of goes in conjunction when California mm -hmm. finished. Yeah. Uh, they added a virtual option to be able to give runners uh, some extra medals. That's awesome. And uh, in lieu of the light side that was used to be in California, so what we're seeing now from Disney is they are giving some of those options as we go along. And we might, like you said, we probably will see more of that uh, as things progress. I hope so. We are well over time, but we did promise everyone that we would do a flashback race uh, <laughs> of the week. Um, and so uh, Kristen, who's been doing Run yeah. Disney races a lot longer than I have, has some really cool mm -hmm. medals. And talk, talk about this one. So uh, one of my favorite races and mm -hmm. one of the reasons this is really I... Cool wanted wow. to go to wine and dine this year is villains so the tower of terror 10 miler mm -hmm. was held at night and uh based out of um uh, you know obviously oh, hollywood, hollywood studios, studios. mgm at the time and they you no 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 no. this yeah. was hollywood studios still okay. all right and they would have an after party and so you go in and similar to the old wine and dine where you ran the race and then you went to an after party and it was like villains themed. Is this the one where they were handing you beers and wines when you finished? I heard no, there was, that a, was wine and dine. That was one the first couple <laughs> of wine and dines. old school wine okay. and dine. <laughs> but the, uh, it, this race must have been awesome. Oh my gosh. It, I have some phenomenal pictures of characters and just like, um, you know costumes that I'm I dressed up as and then posing with the the villains that corresponded with them If anybody from Disney is listening bring it back. We need it. Oh the we 10 miler it. the Tower of Terror 10 miler How cool is that? How many times did you ride the, the Tower of Terror well, after the race? Oh my gosh a, a couple a, You had to you had to yeah, so um, awesome. you know it depended on what was going on But and what year know. was this? This is 2013 that I have here for you. So this one is 2013. A couple, couple years ago. Um, but, you know, and then they discontinued it. But what's really awesome is you can't see here. It's glow in the dark. Little oh, things Oh, yeah, we here. can shut off the lights, but <laughs> we'll get a little closer. Yeah. That is a really cool metal. So wow. they've, uh, Disney's okay. done some fun stuff. But this was, uh, this race here is a little near and dear to my heart. I bet. It's uh, my favorite. I'm jealous. And wine and dine. So that's my two. But here's a throwback. And if you haven't done it, look it up. Unfortunately, it is no longer, but I have faith that one day and you know, my villains race for wine and dine was supposed to be back this year and we missed it. I have no, I have well, wine and dine. Well, we're hoping it's going to be there. You're right. I have stay faith. positive. I have stay positive. Faith. Stay positive. So, <laughs> um, cause we don't want to disclose what our costumes are yet. We oh, already we got some know. good costumes. We ready. already know. Yeah, we got some good costumes. And, ready. uh, you, maybe, you know, too. So yeah. anyway, so a little throwback of, uh, a race that I loved from some time ago. So perfect. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. So I hope and you guys liked it too. I think we'll have another one next week. Hopefully you yeah, got plenty. We'll see what kind of plenty. medals I can dig up. And some of the fun ones. It's fun just to see a new medal or a different medal that maybe people haven't seen before. Cause Disney's yeah. been so creative with those. We are well over our time for the week. Yeah. Kristen, what do you think we're going to be talking about next week? You know, uh, I think annual pass holders will have the opportunity to go to the preview days. Yeah. So I'd like to tell That's you guys. Right. The preview days, we're, we're still waiting to find out when that is. So maybe really next week we'll know. They really have to next week because they're only, then they'll only be a week away. Mm -hmm. So I'm anticipating next week. So we'll get you the latest on what we're going to do about that. Because mm -hmm. we do want to get in uh, and give you guys all the info. Yeah. And uh, you know, I've been wanting to talk about Club Run Disney. so. 
maybe next week will be that opportunity. We did so say we, we can, were going to talk about new. Club Run Disney, and we, we and didn't I want to learn more so. about it myself, yeah. and uh, and and I think that you guys will too because it's brand new this year. So, yeah. so it, next week we promise we'll talk to you a little bit about Club Run Disney and what we think is going to happen with all that. Uh huh. Uh, but otherwise, I think that's it from us, right? For sure. And happy running, everybody. Uh, stay safe. Uh, and stay healthy and still keep running those miles. Uh, if you haven't, hit that subscribe button right down over there uh, and uh, turn on the bell notification that, so that you can get all our new videos. And I've got a couple of POVs uh, for the treadmill that I'm gonna release this week and next. So <laughs> lots of stuff coming up and we'll see you next week, right? See you then.